use list perfectly uh, to get items cross posted to eBay, Etsy, Macari, Depop, Facebook Marketplace, and Instagram. Uh, hopefully, this will give you some ideas. I don't know that this is the only way, or I know it's not the only way, and I don't even know if it's the best way, but it is what works for me. Uh, so, we'll quickly run through from start to finish. Uh, I have already taken the pictures. Uh, edited one of the pictures to remove the background, uh, but other than that, uh, you'll see everything I do when I start this. So I do use the List Perfectly catalog, as you can see on the screen here. Um, I don't use templates since most of my stuff is one off. I just duplicate the last listing uh, that's in the catalog and go from there. So we'll start here, and uh, I have this Denby Butter dish here to list, and. Uh, so we'll go ahead and duplicate the first uh, or the last item in our list perfectly catalog, which happens to be another Denby item. So I use the duplicate button here, click that. And then the first thing I'll do is remove all the pictures. This would be a nice feature if list perfectly would add a way to remove all the pictures at once without having to click the X on each one, but it doesn't take too long. And so then I'll come back and I'll add the pictures. Now, since Depop only takes four pictures, I try to choose four that are representative, you know, that, that are the four best in showing condition and what the item is. So I always start with the one that I've removed the background from. And uh, then we'll just pick three more. So we'll show um, in view. We will show the picture of the base and then one of these last two, I wish Depop would let you show more, but we'll go ahead and show the bottom. So now we have those four, then I just go put the rest of them in here uh, in the order that I originally took them. So we've got this one, this one, and this one. We'll go ahead and open those. And then we used, um, I can't remember if I, which one I used, but we'll go ahead and do this last one. And then finally, I do the original one that I removed the background from as the last picture. That's just kind of the way, my standard way of doing things. So then I'll come down to the product title. In this particular case, it's pretty easy since we are doing another Denby item, but you know, normally I would delete the whole title, start over. We'll just do covered butter dish. And I'm actually right at 80 characters, which is where I want to be. You know, that covers eBay, uh, pretty much everything. I know Macari has 80 characters for some people. The last item I listed, it was still at 40, though. Uh, so I'm not sure if we'll get 80 there. But uh, in any case, I'll edit the Macari title when we get there. Uh, then we come down the brand and maker that's already set from the last one the color shade and the material and then we'll just come in here and edit our description we'll change this to vintage denby stoneware that uh, will do cover better dish uh it's in the echo blue all of this is still the same then we'll say the better dish it's approximately and let me grab my measuring tape i did not do that before we got on We'll measure this real quick, and it's uh, just about seven and a half inches long. So we'll change this to seven and one half inches. Change the word "tall" along, and this would obviously go a little quicker if I wasn't doing running commentary. Uh, it usually takes me oh somewhere between five and ten minutes to completely do everything. Uh, you know, getting from the pictures getting the pictures uploaded, editing the one picture, doing the list perfectly, catalog listing, and then getting it onto the five different uh, platforms. Um, no chips or cracks noted. That's still true of this butter dish. The back step has faded some. It's really faded almost completely. So we'll change that so we get a, a true description of the condition. Uh, this one's not applicable. And then I always just have my standard C pictures for further details on condition. Then I always put this condition in the description. Then I also copy it to the clipboard and just bring it down to this condition here. So in case any of the platforms use that uh, separately, it'll be there. But I always put it in the description as well.
So that's everything there. Pretty much everything I sell is pre-owned. I always start with good condition. Um, I don't use the pro descriptions tip. Um, currently, I've thought about maybe looking at those. You know, that's where you can put all these bullets and it builds this description for you. But for now, I just type in my short description uh, keywords. I will start with cost of goods sold. I'll go ahead and put that in. This one is $3 on this. We'll do this butter dish at $20. We'll do $18. Uh, and looking at some comps, that's pretty right in the ballpark of where it should be. Uh, the skew on this one is, I think it's P3, which is just my bin number. And I have a bunch of these square bins uh, from Home Depot scattered around my office here. And so uh, the bin number then CPM just means it's a cross posted item. And I don't bother with the quantity because it's typically always one UPC, MSRP, very rarely use those. And now we'll go through on our keywords. Instead of pitcher, we'll change that to butter dish. Denby Langley, vintage, we're just going to change that to vintage butter dish, made in England. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll put in a covered butter here. Denby Stoneware, and I always end it with the FH Ventures, uh, just mainly for Facebook Marketplace, so people can search on that tag to find all my listings together on Facebook Marketplace. So that's that section. Then we go down to shipping and variations. I don't do any variations, put my shipping weight in, this thing actually weighs one pound, three ounces. I found with the types of items that I sell, I just add a pound. I'm almost always in that one pound range for priority mail. So we'll put the weight on this. It's going to be two pounds, three ounces shipping for my zip code. Uh, this will fit in a 12 by 12 by eight box. I have, you know, all my standard sizes. I know 16 by 12 by eight, 14 by 14 by eight, 12 by 12 by eight, 12 by 10 by eight, 10 by eight by six are some of the common ones that I use. But, uh, you know, you know what you use and would put that in here. And uh, at this point, I have everything I need from the butter dish. So we'll stick it back, back here and then it goes in. And now we'll come back in here to inventory and sales. This would be another nice um, feature. If you're duplicating a listing, uh, if list perfectly, we'd just go ahead and clear all this out for you since you know it's not going to be the same. But for now, we just have to go through and uncheck each marketplace. And then we have to go in and clear out all the oops, clear out all the inventory numbers. And then once we do that, we're ready to save and exit the products. And now we should have this butter dish in our catalog. And there we go. So now we're ready to add this to the various marketplaces. And I think this is where some people do this different way. Some people will use this. Um, I just click on the title here. That takes me to this screen where I can then just start selecting the marketplaces I want to add it to. It does open a new window, so I always just close that one, uh, the one we came from. So now I'm here. So now I click Macari, go back to list perfectly, click eBay, go back again, click Etsy, go back again, click Facebook, and then Depop, and then finally Instagram. So now by the time I get back over here to Macari, it should be finished. There we go. So all the pictures popped in. Notice, see, I still only have 40 characters on Macari. It's weird for one day I had 80, but then it changed back to 40. So for now, um, I'll just uh, take out this dash. Maybe I can still get the echo in there. I can. Uh, so now I have a title that works for Macari, my description always comes through correctly. I have found on Macari that I have to tab through everything to get the auto match on the categories to pop up. And uh, also, to, sometimes you'll get an error message if you don't tab through the description about having to use more than five characters. So we'll tab through everything and then we'll select uh, butter dish, vintage and collectibles. And then our brand is Denby, if it's in here, and I believe it is. So we'll pick Denby for the brand. I pretty much leave everything is good on Macari, uh, unless it's, you know, a new item or if it's in worse shape, I might pick fair, but for the most part, it's good. So we'll leave that here. Color's blue. I'm going to make the buyer pay for shipping. So that's automatically filled in. But then to get the right shipping rate, I have to click in here. It's automatically populated the weight and dimensions from my list perfectly catalog. Select carrier. 
we'll select priority mail, click save. I always turn off the smart pricing in Macari and then we're ready to list it. So this should pop up here in just a second. And here's our Macari listing. So we'll close that. Now we'll go to eBay and uh, it's already populated in my title, my custom label. It has picked the right category in this case. Sometimes I have to pick a different category. I do always have to pick my store category. And uh, in this case, we'll do uh, household dinerware, din uh, dinnerware in China. Sorry about that. Uh, there's no UPC, the conditions used. This is another thing I wish um, List perfectly would bring over this condition description, but I have not found a place to put that where it will come. So I just come down here and copy this one and then come back up here and paste it. My pictures all came in okay. The only thing I typically have to check is this to uh, get the large photo in Gallery Plus. The other thing I might do here is just crop this picture since eBay lets you do it just to make it a little bigger. And then once that's finished, the other thing I'll do sometimes is click the auto adjust and see if it looks better. Um, and I don't think it, I think it looks better in the native format, so I'll just leave it. Uh, it's automatically filled in the object type. The pattern in this case is echo blue. Got the color right, got the brand right. Uh, in eBay, since it lets you do it, I always make my description here italic just to make it stand out a little more. Uh, buy it now price came from list perfectly. I take offers on everything. My quantity came through. Um, I'm a free returns person, so that's already already checked. And then uh, it remembers the last shipping you use. So in this case, it's set up correctly. If I lasted free shipping, it might have this is a bit flat and first class here, and I'd have to change this. This, but in this case, it's ready. The only other thing I do on all my listings is offer local pickup. And if you don't do that, I have actually sold quite a few items that way. And then all the international stuff's already set up. My dimensions, my weight. Um, I also do promotions on eBay, promoted listings. And I just round up to the next whole number that they recommend. You know, this, I know people have a lot of different thoughts on that. Some people don't promote at all. Some people do everything at 1%. It seems like it works for me to promote it just a little more than they're suggested. And, um, you know, as long as I'm selling, uh, I'm going to keep doing that. But, uh, you know, you can do whatever you want to here. And then I'm not doing multiple quantities. So then we'll list this item and then our eBay one will be done. And as I mentioned, you know, when I'm not giving running commentary like this, I mean, I go through this pretty quick. Uh, so we're already at 13 minutes or so on this video. Uh, but I would probably only be at about five or six minutes at this time uh, normally. So the eBay thing is now finished and we can close that. Then the Etsy, when it goes real quick, we just have to fill in the about this listing. That's required and it doesn't come over from list perfectly. And all my stuff is always another company or person, a finished product. And then it's either before 2002, if I'm not sure of the year, in this case, I know this was probably made in the 60s due to when the pattern was made, so we'll pick that. Then I just copy this title to the clipboard and paste it, paste it in category. And then it'll usually come up with, you know, a, a good match, which it did in this case. Then my material is ceramic. That does not come over. The color came over. Everything in the description trite. I just have to pick my section, which is dinnerware in China. All the tags came over. This is, I guess, a bug between uh, in Etsy, but if I try to put in uh, like stoneware again, I think it'll tell me it's already in there. So even though it's, uh, you know, in there, it, it doesn't show until you put something else, but uh, I'll go ahead and put stoneware and ceramic. So in case people are looking for one or the other, uh, the price comes over, the SKU comes over. And then at this point, I just pick standard shipping with parcel post. And it's built in my weight and dimensions, and then I'm ready to publish this. So there's Etsy taken care of. And then that just leaves us uh, Facebook, Depop, and Instagram. And those all go pretty quick. We'll close that one. Come in here to Facebook. All the pictures are there. Uh, category, uh, we'll pick, I don't know, just bakeware. Uh, it recommended that. 
we'll go use good, which is kind of like Macari. I use use good on almost all my Facebook marketplace. Colors blue. All the keywords came over. Um, I will mention that I have it add this to my Facebook marketplace ads, and that's done through the uh, you know the settings and in, in list perfectly where you can add a custom uh, footer. So if you don't know how to do that, look into that. Maybe I'll do a video on that later on how to do it. But I use that on with Instagram and Facebook to get something different on there uh, that doesn't show up on the other marketplace. So then we'll go to next. And everything on Facebook, it's funny, I do local pickup on eBay, but on Facebook, I just do shipping only, mainly because it seems like anytime I try to do pickup on Facebook, uh, the people don't show up so for now anyway i do shipping only uh, this weight was go back here two pounds three ounces sometimes this fills in sometimes it doesn't two to five pounds we let the buyer pay for it i typically don't allow offers on facebook even though i do on ebay so but if you did want to you could check that i'll do next and I don't ever add it to any of my other groups, and then I just publish it. And now it's on Facebook Marketplace. And there's what it looks like. So now we'll close that. And last but not least, we got Depop. It only brings over the four photos. You know, I hope one day they allow you more, but for now, that's why I put what I consider the four most representative photos first. Then you have to go through and Unlike Instagram, it doesn't take the spaces out of your hashtag. So I'll go through and take all the spaces out real quick. Everything else is fine. Uh, the category, pretty much everything I sell is home category on Depop, uh, except for maybe books. It has its own category. Just like on Macari and Facebook, I use Use Good. It brought over the color of blue. I always do vintage and pre loved since that's most everything I sell. If I know the age, I'll put that in there, and I believe this is from the 60s. I don't usually do a style um, since it's more uh, applicable to clothes. And then finally, I don't charge shipping on Depop. I do everything with free shipping. So priority mail averages, you know, 8 to $10. So I'll go ahead and just add $8 to the price and get it up to 26 And then we'll post this. And there's our Depop listing. And then finally on Instagram, I don't currently sell on Instagram per se. I mean, if somebody asked me about something, I would sell it to them. And I have sold a few things that way. But really, all I put on Instagram is the title. This is another one of those things that's a custom footer uh, so that it tells people my store links are in my bio. Then I just take out the white space, brings over the, uh, the hashtags. The only other thing I do on Instagram usually is I'll come down here and... I'll add a hashtag just for hashtag vintage. If a lot of people follow that uh, particular hashtag and it'll show up. So now if we share that and note that Instagram only brings over the first picture and uh, you can't do multiple pictures. And then if we scroll down, uh, well, normally the listing shows up near the top. We could go over to, uh, to my home screen here and you can see what it looks like. So there's the one we just did. So if you want to see what it looks like on each of the marketplaces real quick, if we go to eBay and go to my store, um, we sort, well, there it is. So there's the, uh, there's the one on eBay. But on Etsy, it looks like this. So they all came out looking really well. And then Macari. We go to here. There's that one that we just added. And there's the listing. And then finally, Depop. If we refresh this, there is Butter Dish. And then we've already looked at it on Instagram. So that is, uh, that is how I get uh, items from. Uh, into the list perfectly catalog and then own into uh, the different marketplaces we'll go ahead and close this and then just the last thing just to show you you know if i go back to my products now it should show that item and then it'll show all the marketplaces i listed it on
and uh, you know, maybe I'll do another video on how how I get things delisted once something sells. But for now, hopefully, hopefully this will be a help to somebody. Uh, like I mentioned, it's not the only way, and I'm not even sure if it's the best way, but it is one, something that works for me, and uh, maybe it'll give you some ideas. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope to post some more later.